Hello everybody, it is Monday and it's April the 11th I believe. You may be thinking, there wasn't a weekly vlog. No, because, oh well who's it? I kept forgetting to do it and then come Wednesday afternoon Jennifer was ill, she was sick. So nothing happened Thursday, Friday. Um, I haven't actually been out since last Wednesday except for today when I dropped Jennifer's nursery simply because I've been in looking after her I've still got a bit of a cough myself it's not Covid, I've done a test but it's a cough and it's annoying me <clears throat> and obviously it's making me feel a bit chesty so I'm taking it easy however I'm hoping this week will be a bit better also I had to have the brakes done on my car because the brake pads were going on the back brakes, they've been done the car is driving lovely again, no more problems so thanks to my mechanic Carl who is the most amazing guy I know, love him to bits he's brilliant and yeah so hopefully this week it'll be a bit better, what have I been doing? I have been reading loads so I'll be updating you on my reading later and I'll be uh, doing updating you on some colouring, I still haven't finished my colouring videos I just haven't had time with Jennifer being ill um Gotta go shopping this afternoon because we didn't go yesterday because Carl had the car, which is fine. And I'll be taking my dad, so I'll be picking him up, getting Jen, going shopping, and then bringing it all back. But I'm gonna go, this battery's gone, so I'm gonna go and put a fresh one in, and I'll see you after work. Uh, oh, sorry. Look at her, all snuggled up on, my, on the bed. My Kindle behind her, some colouring pages in front of her. So sweet. So for when she's attacking Jennifer. Look at these little paws. Look at this murder mitten here. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful girl, and you said. Oh, apart from shopping now. Well, it was okay, actually. Busy, but okay. Um, Jennifer's downstairs. I've just come up. I need to do some filming, really, but it's having time. It's like at night, she won't go to bed unless I'm with her. She won't go to... She just follows me around, so I might try and do a bit in a in a little while if I can get her to crash out on the sofa for an hour. I'll come up and do some. So yeah, I got a couple of books. I picked this book up in Tesco the other week in there on the charity shelf. Um, my mum has had that and read it, so that's uh, Val McDermott, How the Dead Speak, and the Switch. Probably one I picked up for her ages ago, and I just haven't had it in yet. One of my favourite authors. Uh, one of the authors that stays in my permanent collection, Peter James. He writes the Roy Grace novels, um, which are obviously police ones. And they always have dead in the title. This one is one of his supernatural paranormal stories. Here comes the little monster. Here comes Jen. Got your new pyjamas on, haven't you? Yeah? Oh, we're coming down now, Jen. Hey, who's coming down? Come on, say hello. She's got new pyjamas on. Look. Spider-Man ones. You all right? You happy girl? You say hello to all your fans? <laughs> mm, all right, should we go downstairs? Yeah, I love you baby. Oh, hello. The cat has scratched Jennifer, <laughs> as you can hear. So, you don't need to cry baby, it's okay. I know it is. I, it's alright, mummy's here, it's alright, don't worry, have a cuddle. So, in the last week I've read 1984 by George Orwell. It's absolutely terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying. But I enjoyed reading it. And then the XX, a little bit lighter, which this girl curses her ex-boyfriend. Doesn't expect the curse to work. Doesn't think it's going to be real, but it is. She's a witch, he's a witch. He, she curses him. And all hell breaks loose in the town and they've got to sort it out and peter may extraordinary people this is a cold case one um in which a man is murdered at, well he disappears and they, they don't know whether he's dead or not but he's he's been murdered and um enzo mcleod has a wager with somebody that he can solve the case now she's jumping down on the bed that's all right jen carry on and he uh I was tracking down what happened to this guy, Jacques, Jacques Gaillard. So that's what I've read. And this is what I'm currently reading is Harlan Coben played dead. I do like Harlan Coben. This is one of his early ones. This is from 1990, 1991. It's a very, very early one. Um, so yeah, it's quite chunky. Um, but I'm getting through it. So yeah, I'm going to go off and uh, read that now. Good morning. It is Tuesday. 
I'm a bit chesty, my chest hurts a bit, it's the uh, old asthma playing up. <coughs> Last night I didn't do any reading and I just went to bed because Paul was doing a Zoom with his friend. So I just went to bed. Um, and Jennifer went to sleep with me again. Can't get her back in her own bed, so she's too scared. I'll try it again later, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, didn't read anything, didn't colour anything last night sadly. Um, I'm currently swatching my Arteza Expert or Arteza Expert pencils. Um, I still have got to film. Oh god, I haven't done that either. My, oh god, what's it called? <sighs> March completed pages in haul. I just haven't had a chance to do it because with Jennifer. I mean, I'll try again later, but we're going out to Quinn's house to play later, so that'll be nice, won't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get set up for work and I'll see you afterwards. In the park now, finished work, waiting for Quinn to come. She's just arriving. Jennifer's very excited. Look, here she goes. <laughs> Jennifer! Jen! Jen! Say hello to mummy! Hello! You want to see yourself, don't you? There you are. Is that you? Yeah. Love you. Have a nice hour or so with Quinn, alright? It's not that late, it's only about 8 o'clock. I'm up in the bed. Jennifer's passed out. Usually if I bring her up and I don't say she kicks off so I'm staying for a bit. But I've got my book and I'm going to read it. I've been watching some of these people that do reading vlogs. And they say I'm going to read for 48 hours or 24 hours straight. But then it's not technically 24 hours straight because they pause the timer and go off and do other things. To me if you were reading for 24 hours straight you're just sitting there reading. You're not doing anything else. You're not moving. You take it to the bathroom, go to the toilet and have your dinner, but you don't do anything else. But it's also kind of interesting. So I'm not going to do one of those, but I'm going to see how much I can read this week. Now, as you know, yesterday, I didn't read anything. Um, I am currently reading Harlan Coben's Play Dead. And I, I started a bit today. I've, I've read a chapter or so today. For, I think I've read about 14 minutes so far. So I'm going to time myself reading, if I remember, for the rest of this week and see how many hours I actually read for. So I'm going to do that as well now um, and, and see how it goes. I have got, an, if I run out of this one, I've got another book I've started in here, uh, which is a non-fiction one. And I've also got a Jack the Ripper book and the complete Agatha Christie notebooks. So I've got plenty to read in here for now. So... And I'm probably going to read for about an hour or so tonight. It depends. I like reading. I love reading. And I can sit and read all day. So. So I'm very hopeful that I can do it. So. I'm going to carry on. So there. Yeah. Okay, it's half past ten. Jennifer's still asleep. And I have now finished this book, Play Dead. Um, it took me two hours and 50 minutes. That's how long I've read, read for tonight. And there's another finished book to add to my um, print book. So I'm going to go update Goodreads. And then I'm going to try not to cough. I'm going to go to sleep. And then tomorrow I'll start another book. So I'm really happy that I enjoyed it. It was a good book. A little bit long-winded but it made sense why it was they probably could have cut a character out of there that wasn't really necessary all the the length that that character had wasn't necessary but i enjoyed it It was very good considering it's one of his early earlier books i did enjoy it so yeah i'll see you in the morning when we'll uh do Wednesday. Okay gang, it is Wednesday morning. I am at my desk. I'm just gonna get my stuff set up. As you know, last night when I was starting my reading marathon of trying to see how much I can read in a week, I finished this book. So I'm gonna update my journal in a minute. And today I'm going to be starting this book. I've had this for ages. It was recommended to me by my friend Julie. It's TJ Clune, The Lightning Struck Heart. 
um you will have seen this on my tbr because i put it in my tbr for the month so that's the next book i'm gonna to try and read i didn't do very well with it i did start it and i stopped because i wasn't in the mood for it so i'm gonna try again so i'm gonna try and update my reading journal i'm not sure if i have a little picture for play dead yet or whether it's on the next lot i need to print up when i've got enough so if not i know i have a workaround for that and if i have great so i'm gonna sort that out now and then i'm gonna go work for a bit then i've got to go to the shop get some cash out uh take some of the library books back from last month and i hope they're not late we shouldn't be they're going back today um yeah that's it really and then i'm gonna head off get jen and pop to mum and dad's so i'll see you in a bit so i haven't done any vlogging today for various reasons i did start reading this i like the truck heart by tj clune i've only read the very first sort of chaptery bit i'm gonna read a bit more of it now as you can hear Jennifer in the background because she will not sleep in her own room. I really don't know what to do about that at the moment but I'll have to sort something out because she's driving me up the wall. Uh, so I'm going to curl up and read for a little while. Um, so far this week, because obviously I didn't read anything on Monday, I read, I've read for 2 hours and 56 minutes 20 seconds, so nearly 3 hours and uh i am going to start that timer in a minute and do some more reading so i will see you when i finish reading for the night i'm gonna be honest it's only quarter to ten and i'm absolutely shattered so i'm gonna call it a night i have now read for three hours and 32 minutes this week alone that's not a huge amount i haven't read as much today as i did last night but i am on chapter six of this and i am enjoying this now last time i read it i couldn't get into it there's a lot of swearing in it um obviously it's all they're all gay which is i don't have a problem with that in fact i really, really oh excuse me we'll start coughing i like the idea especially of a gay unicorn he glitter rains glitters in anger glitter showers off of him when he's angry it's so cute um but for some reason i couldn't get into it last time i don't know but this i'm loving it this time so obviously i wasn't in the right mindset last time i tried to read this but now i really am and i'm really enjoying it but i'm just too tired and so i am going to call it a night tonight and um have a good go at it tomorrow obviously don't forget this week is a boring quality weekend because it's easter yay and we'll be um having four days off so lots of reading time i hope fingers crossed uh yeah, I'm really looking forward. I'm going to obviously try and get through this soon because I'm really, really enjoying it. Yay, thanks, Julie, for recommending it. I, like I said, I couldn't get into it last time. I, I just wasn't in the mindset for it, but I am now and I'm really loving it, especially the unicorn. I love Gary the unicorn. He's so cute. He's, so, oh, he's amazing. Anyway, oh, like I already said, I'm really tired and I'm off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is Thursday and it is the last working day of the week. Hooray! Because of course it's the Easter holiday, so good Friday tomorrow. So I'm just at my desk. I'm about to uh, sign on for work. I'm just getting everything set up, moving things I don't need, stuff like that. Now I finish at one and Paul's going to go and get Jennifer, so I might try and do a bit of filming. Oops, before they get back, there goes my... Uh, Thing. Paul's been up here everything gets moved when Paul comes up here that's better and uh, we can never if you want to get it right I need to tidy up in those coke cans everywhere it's a right mess up here so this weekend I'm gonna try and tidy up the bedrooms sort the washing out get on top of all the washing try and finish all my filming even though it's half a month late because we're, what, we're the 14th now 15th I don't know 14th 15th 14th today so yeah it's all okay though, everything's good. I'm just going to put my laptop on and get ready for the day. Yeah, Jennifer's fine, she's in nursery. She didn't really want to go because she couldn't wear the jumper she wanted because it's in the tumble dryer for some reason. The tumble dryer was turned off last night. I uh, never finished, so she'll have to wear it Tuesday, won't she? So, um, I am, like, as you know, I'm reading um, The Lightning Struck Heart. Um, but after that one everything else is going on hold because the new chronicles of st mary's is released today and i'll be getting it sometime today from amazon so that takes top place on it so i will then read it wrap it up and all the stuff there and then i'll probably start a reread of the entire series next month so i'm very excited and then i think next month andrew cartmel's new book's out the vinyl detective book five or is it book six 
I'm not sure, whichever one it is, five I think. Um, that's out, and that's one of my favourite series as well, so I can't wait, I, I love these books. <laughs> oh, the cat's have something to play with. Anyway, I better get sorted for work. I'll see you afterwards. Okay, guys, it is bedtime and I haven't really done anything um, today. Uh, yeah, so I haven't read much. I've read a little bit, but not a lot. I'm going to read in a minute. Um, I've got some books here I need to finish as well. So I'll probably try and finish this tonight. This is just a photo book about Cornwall. It's really nice. There's not a lot of writing in it. It's mostly photographs, so it's only going to take a few minutes. I have got this one on the go as well but I'm not very far through it so I don't know if I'm going to bother with that one tonight and of course if I can find it I brought it up I've got of course The Lightning Struck Heart by TJ Clune and about a third of way nearly through it and I am enjoying it I'm really enjoying it actually and of course today's addition to the library has arrived Catalogue of Catastrophes by Jodie Taylor. <sighs> I do love these books. I do love the Chronicles of St Mary's. I love Jodie Taylor. There are two of the um, other ones I haven't got, the Time Police ones, so I might try and get those soon. Looks like there will be another book after this one by the ending. I've just had a look. Somebody said Maxwell had a brilliant idea, so that's going to be interesting. So that's my next read once I finish TJ Clune. Although, like I said, I'm going to finish the Cornwall book. I might try and read a little bit more of the other one. I've still got my Jack the Ripper book in here and my Big Agatha Christie um, notes book, which I just dip into every now and again when I feel like it. I'm not going to rush about trying to finish that book or the Jack the Ripper. I just read it as and when I feel like it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to crack on with a bit of uh, reading and I'll see you afterwards, let you know how many hours this month I've read. Okay, so I'm in bed and I'm going to start reading. I am on four hours and 37 minutes at the moment. I don't know if you can see it's flashing. So that's where I am. So I'm going to read for a bit. Probably won't read for too long, maybe just half an hour to an hour. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I don't have to get up in the morning. It depends on Jennifer what time we get up. So I'll let you know when I finish. Okay, it's just gone 20 past 10. And I am tired, so I'm going to call it a night. I'm now on 5 hours and 17 minutes, 6 seconds for reading this week. It's not bad. It's just over an hour a day. I can sit and read for hours and hours, it's true. And I'm really enjoying the book. Uh, yeah, it's really good. I'm about nearly halfway through it now, so I'll hopefully uh, have a read of that again tomorrow as much as I can. We're going out of lunch uh, with my mum and dad and Paul's mum, so that'll be nice. So I'm going to get some kip, because I'm pretty sure Jennifer's going to wake up at some point and going to come into bed with me. So, better get some sleep first. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, good morning everybody. It's Saturday. No, it's not. It's Friday. It's a good Friday. Do you know what? It's because I'm not working. I'm thinking it's Saturday. So it's, it's Friday. We're tidying up a bit, because we're going out to lunch later. I'm actually going to try and film my completed pages in Hall for March, which I haven't done yet. We're the, on the 15th today, I think. Yeah, the 15th. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to tidy up as well, so. <sighs> Hard work. But, yeah, so I'm going to do that now and try and get that so I can put it away, tidy up a bit, uh, and see what I can do. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. At least Jennifer slept in her bed all night, so I had the bed to myself. It was very comfy, very nice, and I slept better, but I'm really tired. I've got a cup of tea here. I want to get on with this and get it done as quickly as I can. So I have a bit of a tidy up up here to, you know, help out. Anyway, I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so I've done filming and I've just had a shower. Whew, I had to clean up the tumble dryer. It's not drying, so I had to do all the... Clean the lint thing out before I had a, a shower in the garden with the hose all the fluff out of it, clean the lint tray. It's not 100% done, but it'll do for now, and hopefully it'll dry. I've just got to rewash the washing. If it's like this tomorrow, I'll put some out. I'll try and get a load done in the night, and a load done first thing, and get them out on the line. That way, it's going to save us a bit of cash. It's nice enough to put it out. It's a bit late now, especially as I haven't put it on yet, so that lot will go in the tumble dry, and then I'll do the next lot on the line. <sighs> I did finish uh, looking through this book. 
last night. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and we don't want to show you anything a bit naughty because I haven't got dressed yet. So I'm just sitting up here on the bed. Cat's here, look. There she is. All right. It's not very exciting. She's not very happy. She doesn't look very uh, enamoured of it. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to dry my hair now and get ready to go out for lunch. You right, baby girl? Hey, don't eat my makeup bag. Just because it's sparkly. Honestly, what you like, look at this, look. Isn't she so cute? Are you cute, Zed? Are you? You eating mummy's bag? <laughs> she won't do it now because we're looking at her. Oh, it's a glorious day, so I've come to sit outside for a bit. We're going out to lunch soon, so I thought I'd come sit outside for a little bit, get some fresh air. And yeah, it's very nice. Look at this, beautiful it is. Here comes Paul. Absolutely glorious. Nice breeze, so it's not too hot. Lovely, isn't it, Paul? Lovely. Lovely, Jeff. Viv is making us a sponge, which is yum, 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 yum. We're at the pub, waiting for dinner. Jennifer's watching some YouTube. Granddad, Mum, Nanny, Sally. Hello, Paul. Very good menu. I've had down from lunch. It took hours. I got admit. Sorry, there's no light in here. Uh, that's better. And it is quarter to five. We got back about ten to four. So I've been back for a while. Just been sorting some washing out, changing the sheets on the bed, stuff like that. I have a lie down and read my book for a bit. Have a cup of tea. Open the window. I'm sweating. It's really warm. Beautiful day out, mind. I, I really enjoyed my dinner, so I'm really glad we went. But uh, oh, it's warm. It's nice. Yeah. Um. I'm going to try and do some colouring later, so I'll show you what I want to do. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. It is Friday night. It's still Friday. It's half past nine. I'm really tired. I'm trying to get Jennifer to bed. She's in bed at the moment. How long that lasts, I don't know. The cat's in here looking at the wall. <sighs> trying to find something to play with. Do you want to go out? Oh, she's done it. And I am going to try and read my book for a little bit, but Jennifer says I'm supposed to go to sleep because I'm going to be tired otherwise. Zed, what are you doing? You know how to open the door. So I'm going to read this. I'm on page 251. I've got about 130 pages to go, so I want to try and read as much as I can tonight. So I really, really want to get started on a catalogue of catastrophes. I have got the, the book covers ready for when I've done it. I've just got to cut them out. So that's really cool. I'll see you before I go to bed. I'll let you know how many hours I've read and how I'm doing. Morning, it is Saturday the 16th of April. It's the day before Easter Sunday. We've got to go shopping later, but I am actually sitting out in the garden. It's a lovely morning. I don't know what the time is, but hey. Um, it is oh, 10.23, so it's not too bad, we go shopping soon. Um, I'm just chilling out. I've got two loads of washing on the line. Um, I have got this because I finished The Lightning Struck Heart last night. I really loved that book. It was brilliant. And I've read a very tiny bit of this one, so I'm going to be reading this in a minute. And so far for this week, remember when I didn't read anything on Monday, I'm up to eight hours of reading. So I'm going to do this every week, so I think it might be fun. And then I'll have to write it down before I start reading next week in my diary or something just so I know I think that'd be quite interesting to see how much I read per week because obviously it's going to change uh, from week to week depending on what I'm doing so I am actually going to read a little bit of this book now and uh, let's see you afterwards well, we've yeah. done the shopping with Nanny and Grandad's and we're just about to leave Jennifer suddenly hungry and wants cheesy crackers yeah, well, she says it's every day at home as well I know but she's hungry you hungry Jen Jen? no! she just don't want to go out <laughs> you are Got the spoon or the knife? Is that yours or dad's? Mine. Can you do that? Mm. I don't know whether you can. Mm. Put it on the biscuit. I'm ready for battle. That's it then. Girl. Gotta learn. We've been teaching her how to use a knife. I need my own armor. Haven't we? She's been using a knife at home She's to. Right hands are fair. Yeah. I've got her to cut throats, but. Uh, 
Look out, zombies. Susie and Tatter. Watch it, you'll be cutting your Out in Grandad's garden. Right out the flowers. Oh dear, let's done it again. Let's put that back up. There we are. Not many flowers. Nice day actually. Tweety birds. Such a nice day. Oh, I bet they are from mites, yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Right here. Uh, it's all right though. Yeah, I like the Bleedian arts. Yeah, they're not so well, they're shining like Devon Love a bit too much. Yeah. Sort of out Oh, yeah, I can see them from here. And here is, in this box, in yeah, this box, uh, is a nest with five eggs in it. Can't. <laughs> Can't really see anything. I don't think the robin's in there at the moment, so. So yeah, there's a robin. So, and there's bluebells in the corner. Yeah, I can see them from here. They're pretty noisy out here. Then. It's nice out here. Hmm? The cherry blossom, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? You've got lots of biscuits. Like yeah, probably. <laughs> what have you got? I got granddad's. Oh, you got granddad's? I got yours. You got my new one? Yeah. Oh, you monster. Mm. That's lettuce, eh? It's oh. green yet. I only put them in yesterday. Yeah. Those robin's eggs over there. <laughs> Can't wait to see if they hatch. Is it more, yeah, yeah. She's loving them, isn't she? Oh well, fun out, eh? Back from mum's and shopping. <sighs> I'm boiling hot. I've just finished reading Fathom, which is a Titanic story. And We'll have a little nap for tea. Falls downstairs with Jennifer, they're watching telly. It might seem like I'm never with her, but I am with her so much. And <clears throat> we tend to have it in turn, so I'll have a nap for an hour. And then I'll go down and Paul will come up for a rest for an hour. Uh, she gets both of us then. And it's good for her to spend time with him. She loves him. But... It's mostly all about me, so. <sighs> Back to the Chronicles of St Mary's. We're on over nine hours this week. It's not a huge amount, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Morning, everybody. It is Easter Sunday. I'm sitting in the garden again. It's a beautiful day. It's a bit chillier. I'm going to be putting some washing on the line in a minute. Out of tons again. Um, I've got a cup of tea. Jen's got my phone, so... I can't time any reading, so I won't read for a bit. Oh, just a nice cup of tea sitting outside. Enjoy the fresh air, listen to the birds. Oh, it's absolutely lovely out here. Shed behind me, as you know. But yeah, old Gem would not go to bed last night. That's why I didn't finish up the vlog. She was literally kicking and screaming. Till I let her come in and sleep with me. Hard work with her, I tell you. But it's okay. We'll get there. 
no real plans for today. Might go out for a drink later. Just uh, get this washing done. I've got so much to do. It's a good day. There's another day tomorrow because I'll be having more for tomorrow. Ugh. It never ends, does it, when you've got kids? Most of it's hers. It's either hers or towels. Obviously, there's some of mine in pools as well, but obviously, we don't go through as much as she does. Right, I'm gonna start hanging it out now. I'll see you in a bit. That's the first load of washing put out. I can hear the other one spinning, so I'll go in and get it in a minute. I'm just gonna sit here and drink my tea. It's really quite nice. I'm absolutely stunning out here again. I don't want to sit in the, in the house. I'd rather sit out here and relax and enjoy the fresh air. It's lovely out here. It's not hot at the moment. I tend to burn in the heat and I get really get a heat rash, so. I'm just going to sit here and, and uh, just enjoy the cool air while it's uh, here and uh, enjoy the peace. I'm still sitting in the garden. Sounds like the other washing's finished, so I'm going to go and get that put it out and have some breakfast. I have got my colouring book out here. I'm colouring in stained glass Egyptian designs by Satch and Satch Diva. It's the colour by number version. I love this book, but it's not going to be long until I finish it. I love this book. I'll probably even try and finish it up in the next couple of months. I, I just, I love anything to do with ancient Egypt, so. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and get that wash in and then I'll probably be back out after I've had breakfast. Jennifer's come out to colour with me and here comes Paul as well. We're colouring a dinosaur, aren't we, Jen? Yeah. A blue dinosaur. Oh, it's nice being out here with everybody. You can sit down and colour if you want, Jen. You don't have to stand up. She's a bit short, isn't she? She's getting there, though. That's really good colouring. I want to make a rainbow one. You can make a rainbow dinosaur if you want to. Absolutely. Paul and Jennifer have gone back in. I'm still sitting out here. Jennifer gets bored, goes in and watches TV. Paul's going to go in, keep her company and uh, do the washing up, because that's his job. My job is uh, washing, drying clothes, cooking. We both do the cleaning, both do the recycling, although I mostly do it. I get to do the cat litter tray. He cuts up boiled chicken because I hate it. So we have little jobs. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'm quite tired, but I'm just quite happy sitting out here in the sunshine. Still working on my picture though. Sunday in the pub, it's yeah, afternoon yeah. now. Richard, <laughs> the long passage. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Oh, yeah. That was Brinland, wasn't it? Brinland. That's the word. So. I'm filming. Go and do that dancing again. <laughs> He's crazy, isn't he? <laughs> But he's not the dancer in the family, my mum was. <laughs> oh, you <don't. laughs> We're in, We made it to the curry house, didn't we, Jess? <laughs> the girls. Mm. Hey. Say hello to everybody in YouTube Hi, land. Hi everyone on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> My mad neighbour, who I miss terribly while she's not there. We come out for drinks and now we're in the curry house. There's the girls. Oh, it's all good fun, isn't it, Paul? Girls, smile over there. I'm here as well, and we're having curry. It's yummy. Okay, everybody, it's Sunday evening. We are back home now after the pub. And we're going to bed, because we're all knackered, aren't we? Yeah, we're, all, we're wrecked. Tired. Broken, as Daddy says. We're yeah. broken? Yeah, Daddy's nodding. So that's it for this week. I will see you all again tomorrow after I've bothered to load this onto the computer and we'll do it all again. Bye. There's new things happening next week. We're going back to the office. Hopefully Jess and Sienna are coming over Friday night for a few drinks and some food. Yeah, then come to our After I've cleaned up and steamed the carpets because they, you know, need doing. Tap, boom. High five, baby girl. Good girl. Yeah. Should we go to bed? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. 
Hope well, you've enjoyed this weekly bye. vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>